Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to share with you today a story from one of my readers and how she landed a $1,600 mental health writing job in just seven days. She actually shared her story with me in the form of a guest post on my site at writingrevolt.com so I will link that down in the description box below. But I really wanted to talk about it here on YouTube too because I know so many of you have told me you want to write about mental health. It's something you are passionate about which I can definitely relate to. And I also want you to know before we dive in that this happened for her after 2020 started getting crazy. So if you're wondering, can I really do this right now in these times? Yes, you absolutely can if you use the right process. Now, if you're new around here, hi, my name is Jordan and welcome. I run writingrevolt.com, which is all about helping you learn how to become a better freelance writer and copywriter. And I would love for you to hit like and subscribe so you can hang around my YouTube channel and learn everything you need to know about how to start freelance writing. And if you want to learn about how Sierra did it for her, herself then just keep watching. So Sierra actually started out sharing with me her biggest mistake as a beginner freelance writer which is a super super common one and that mistake was focusing on sites like Upwork. She literally says she wished she had never heard of Upwork and Fiverr because she spent over three months there and never made a single dollar in three months. She also says she even resorted to applying to sketchy writing gigs on Craigslist. You guys comment below are you doing this right now. No shame if you are because we all got to start somewhere and we all make mistakes, but my hope is that by the end of this video you will be inspired to do something different that's actually going to make you a good living wage, not just getting paid shitty $10 for a thousand words type gigs. So next Sierra shares how she moved past this mistake, which is pretty exciting for me, just saying, because she says that she found this YouTube channel that you are watching right now. She instantly clicked on a video and then she enrolled in my best-selling course for freelance writers which is called Killer Cold Emailing. Of course, I'll leave that down in the description box below if you want to check out that program. But whatever you do, at least make a commitment to get off these sites like Upwork and Craigslist. So step one for Sierra was choosing a profitable freelance writing niche. You guys who have been around here a while and who've listened to me a while know that I can and will talk about the importance of the niche all day long because it is incredibly important. The thing is, when you're starting out as a beginner, you don't have trust building things like testimonials and fancy bylines and all this crazy shit. But what you do have to build trust is going all in on your freelance writing niche and really using that to build credibility and get hired. Sierra says that she studied psychology in undergrad and even took some other courses in clinical mental health. Because her day job was working in a mental health office, that just seemed like a really good niche for her. And she says settling on her niche was pretty easy, but you shouldn't be discouraged if it takes a little more brainstorming for you to pick yours. And I do share tips on exactly how to pick your niche inside of Killer Cold Emailing. Not just tips, but like a complete walkthrough. Like we even have a lesson in there that says, what do I do if I still can't pick a niche? Because I know this is a huge decision and it's a very important one that's going to impact whether or not you succeed at freelance writing. But if you guys have any questions about how to pick a niche or what niche you are considering, feel free to drop them in the comments below. I'll also leave a link to my free guide with 101 profitable freelance writing niches down below in the description box for you and above my head right now. Step number two that Sierra shared was to set up her professional freelance writer website. Website. Now, before we talk about this at all, I gotta let you know, I have a tutorial. It is free. It is a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to set up a freelance writer website that wins you clients, even if you have no experience. This is something that you need to do. It's non-negotiable. You gotta have mybusinessname.com. So please don't put this off. Don't procrastinate it. Click the link. Again, I'll throw it above my head and down below in the description box. Everything you need to know will be in that tutorial. Now for Sierra, she actually already had a portfolio when she enrolled in Killer Cold Emailing, she says but she realized she needed to overhaul it to really make sure it reflected her niche so she could get mental health writing jobs specifically. This is covered so in depth inside the Killer Cold emailing program and it is something you absolutely must do. It is part of my pick a niche and make it your bitch thing that I like to talk about. You can't just choose a niche, you actually have to market your niche throughout your website and your guest post bios on social media, anywhere someone would see you online. And that is what Sierra has done. You can see that she doesn't just call herself a writer, she calls herself a mental health copywriter. That is exactly the approach that you need to be taking. Just fill in the keywords for your niche that you have chosen instead of putting mental health. And then Sierra goes on to talk about the method she learned inside Killer Cold Emailing, which says there is extreme emphasis on not having just a single portfolio page, but you need an entire website and your writing samples are just one page on that website. That is so, so important. Again, do not leave this video without clicking that link to that writing portfolio 
portfolio tutorial, you've got to get that set up. You cannot have just a resume or a one pager unprofessional portfolio. You've got to have a business owner website if you want to do this and be taken seriously as a business owner. Step three that Sierra shared was further optimizing her writer website to get mental health writing jobs specifically. This involved deleting some of her old poetry and really just honing in on her one niche and her one goal with her website specifically, which was to land mental health copywriting clients. As I like to say, and as Sierra has said as well, you do not need your whole life story. You do not need to waste valuable real estate on your site talking about your passion for writing. Trim that shit down. That is what you've got to do and be sales focused. Now once Sierra got her niche, her site, and all that stuff ready, she moved on to step number four, which she shared with me, and that was to start cold emailing. And not only that, but she shot straight to the top for her dream clients as a mental health copywriter. I love this part of her story so much because it really shows that she took to heart having that business owner mindset. She didn't just say, oh, I'm going to have a free portfolio site and a resume and just pitch these crappy penny per word gigs. She really got professional, nailed her niche down, and got her shit together, and then pitched. And because she did all that first, she was able to pitch and cold email with incredible confidence. She says she decided to shoot straight for the top to one company she was super excited about because she saw herself as worthy of working with them and presented herself that way, which goes back to the writer website and all that stuff. They responded as their equal, not a employee who is begging or desperate for work. You can't position your yourself that way. You've got to do like Sierra has done here. Take yourself seriously and have that business owner mindset. And you guys, she signed a $1,600 mental health writing contract just a few days later. So I gotta make that clear. Her first ever cold email after implementing this process, she shot straight for her dream client after spending months on Upwork not getting any results. That one cold email, she got a $1,600 mental health copywriting gig. That is incredible. Again, Sierra is one of my killer cold emailing students, so if you want to check out that course that comes with all the niche tutorials and lessons, step-by-step -step guidance on exactly how to optimize your writing portfolio, and my copy and paste cold emailing scripts that I don't share anywhere else and a whole lot more, check out killercoldemailing.com or the link down in the description box below. I also have a totally free masterclass that is brand new for 2021 with the three steps to making your first $1,000 online as a freelance writer. So if you're just starting out and you're feeling kind of clueless and not really sure what to do next, this is the class you need to start with. Again, it is free. You sign up, you get instant access. You could be taking the course in just a minute or so from now if you take action. I will put the link above my my head as well as down below in the description box in the pinned comment so that you basically cannot miss it. And again, I'll also link to this incredible guest post from Sierra down below in the description box. Thank you so much, Sierra, for sharing your story. It is awesome and I could not be more happy for you and your results. That is all for today, my friends. But before we go, let's take a look at Tito's favorite comment of the day. The comment of the day today comes from Raylin and she says, thank you, Jordan. I just finished your free class. Lots of good tips. Thank you. Thank you, Raylin, for taking the class and for the positive feedback. I really appreciate it. And I just want to say, too, thank you guys so much for keeping this such a positive space and community. It really, truly means a whole lot to me. Like, it, it seriously means the world to me that you guys do that. So if you have something you want to share or add, please comment below in this video. Or if you have any questions, I'll be happy to help you out. So pop them in below. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.